<laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened. The pen just jumped out my hand there, mashallah. Mashallah, Taslima, how are things in Birmingham? It's the weather. Yeah, is it raining? No, it's cold. It's Yesterday cold. it was raining. I think it's, it's pretty warm here in London. It's not that warm. Can you tell us anything about today's show? Alhamdulillah, I'm enjoying it. Um, I love the recitation. Yeah. And but I would like to say the shit. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Sing the Rashid, yeah. Mane jodi nai ki chutha ki Aho raho da ko anna ki Mane jodi nai ki chutha ki Aho raho da ko anna ki Gain jodi nai tha ki Ehi kaj ko ro Rabbi zede ni elma paro Rabbi zede ni elma Mane jodi nai ki chutha ki Aho raho da ko anna ki Ek bar shat bar 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 Tar kat sharun karo Ek bar shat bar 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 Tar kat sharun karo Tar nam raho man shab ki Tar dan, tar nam raho man, shab ki chu tar dan, bolo nai kata ta ki sharun karo, rabbi zede ni elma paro, mane jadi nai ki chu ta ki, aho raho da ko alla ki, ye ayat le ka che pa ko rani, चोट बार शक ले दो आती जाने ये आयत ने कांच पाको रने चोट बार शक ले दो आती जाने चोट परे बारे गेन देर जाई शम्मन चोट परे बारे गेन देर जाई शम्मन शक शुंदता ये की कांच करो Jazakallah Taslima, that was wonderful, mashallah. We need to really get Taslim on the show. We call it the Taslima show with Rainbow Kids. Yeah, Jazakallah Taslima, that was wonderful, and we hope to hear some more from you, inshallah. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go to another break now, and I think we've had a very very wonderful panel so far. So I want to thank them, Jazakallah khair, guys, and we'll see you um, after a break, inshallah. Don't go too far. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the final segment of Rainbow Kids, right? Uh, we have three more guests on our show. I think our guests so far, mashallah, wonderful so far, mashallah. I think we had a really good mix of nasheed, Quran, and stories. Let's introduce our next set of guests and let's, let's, let's learn more about the deen at the same time have some fun. So who do we have first? Sadia. Sadia, mashallah. Sadia. And how old are you, Sadia? You're nine years old, and what school do you go to? Blue Gatefields. Blue Gatefields. Everyone is from Blue Gatefields. Wow, you know, I'm going to have to join this school, Blue Gatefields, find out. Wow, everyone from Blue Gatefields. What's so special about this school? Is there anything special about the school? No. No? There's nothing special about Blue Gatefields. People are watching this show, they say, what are you talking about? Our school is great. Your teacher's watching this show. Say, that girl, Sadia, uh, detention for her. No? Okay, um, Sadia, mashallah. And which year are you in now? You're in year ten, um, five, four, three, two, what? Last off, sorry. You're in year four now, yeah? Okay, very good. And who do we have next? Uh, Tazkia. Tazkia, mashallah. And how old are you, Tazkia? Ten. Ten. And what school do you go to? Kaylee. Kaylee School. And who is the next person there? Labib. Labib. Labib, do you have a brother called Habib? No. Are you definitely sure? Yeah. All right, because if there's a person, their name is Labib, they usually have a brother called? No. Habib. No. Labib had a brother called Habib. You know this song? No. No, oh, okay. <laughs> How old are you, Labib? Uh, I'm eight. You're eight years old. And which school do you go to? Kaylee. Okay, you go to Kaylee School as well. Okay, fantastic. So far, because our show, we na mainly do nasheed, we mainly do stories, we mainly do hadith, and we do a lot of fun. We do a lot of fun. We do so much fun on this show. We just do too much fun. People go crazy. Yeah. Okay. Let me, um, and we have another show for Quran with Sheikh Shams al-Duha. 
But today we've had, mashallah, a lot of recitation. I think we're going to have a, just a bit more recitation um, from Labib, the brother of Habib. No. Yeah? Labib, yeah. it's all yours. Which surah are you going to recite? Tahrim. Surah Tahrim, mashallah. And are you, have you memorized the Quran? No. No. How much have you memorized? I'm on my fourth juz. Oh, so you've done four, one six of the Quran so far, yeah? Yeah. MashaAllah, that is very good, very good, MashaAllah. So one six of your body is half is? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let's listen to your recitation. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ya ayyuhan nabiyu lima tuharrimu ma ahallallahu lak تبتغي مرضاة أزواجك والله غفور رحيم قد فرض الله لكم تحلة أيمانكم والله مولاكم وهو العليم الحكيم وإذ أسر النبي إلى بعض أزواجه حديثا فلما نبأت به وأظهره الله عليه عرف بعضه وأعرض عن بعد فلما نبأها به قالت من أنبأك هذا قال نبأني العليم الخبير إن تتوبا إلى الله فقد سقط قلوبكما وإن تظهرا عليه فإن الله هو مولاه وجبريل وصالح المؤمنين والملائكة بعد ذلك ظهير عسى ربه إن طلقهن أن يبدله أزواجا خيرا منكن مسلمات مؤمنات قانتات تائبات تائبات عابدات سائحات ثيبات وأبكارا يا أيها الذين آمنوا قوا أنفسكم وأهليكم نارا وقودها الناس والحجارة عليها ملائكة غلاظ شداد لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون ما يؤمرون ما شاء الله جزاك الله خير and who who teaches the Quran recitation I have a son in Egypt and my uncle ما شاء الله you have a teacher in Egypt and your uncle and how often do you fly to Egypt to see your teacher or is over the internet over the internet. Over the internet, mashaAllah. I'm going this August. You're going this August to Egypt. Yeah. Can you take me in your suitcase? Uh, no. I'll be really quiet. No. You can put, in, you can put me in the overhead. No, you won't fit. Yeah? You're too big. Okay. And how many times have you been to Egypt? Have you been to Egypt? Yeah, once. Yep. Yeah. And how old were you? Eight. Eight. Oh, so you went this year or was it last year you went? This year. This year. And how did you find it? Hmm? How, how did, tell us about Egypt. I've never been to Egypt. Uh, hot. Yeah. Uh, boring because I have no friends. <laughs> oh, okay. You were on your own. That's why it was boring. Okay. Only my sister. Uh, and your sister as well? This big sister. This big sister here. And little sister. And little sister as well. Okay. And uh, the whole family went? Yeah. Okay. All, everyone? Yeah. Mashallah. And how long were you in Egypt for? Two weeks. Two weeks. And was it a holiday or did you go there to learn? Well, it was a holiday. It's a holiday. But did you do any learning? No. I stayed at home. Okay. Uh, how was the food? Good. Good. Did you have a lot of camel meat? No. Okay. <laughs> I was only messing around there. Okay, mashallah. And you, how long are you, you going to go to Egypt again? Is it on holiday? You're going to go holiday, to learn? Holiday. Holiday. You're not going there to learn anything? No. Not even to meet your teacher? No. I'm going to have, have to mention. Teacher. You will, you will. I think. It's the surprise they haven't told you about. Okay, mashallah. Um, I think let's, let's have an asheed because we've had some recitation. Let's have an asheed. Now, Labib, I've been told that you have a very beautiful singing voice. Mm -hmm. When you're in the shower, this is no. beautiful. No. Yeah? No. You say that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I heard. No. I heard that. Oh, mountains, oh, my. Okay, is that true? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite nasheed? You don't know. You have so many. You don't know, or you don't know any. You don't know. Uh, I have so many. You have so many. Can you name me one at least? Mm. No, there's too many. Too many. All right then. Um, who's gonna sing a nasheed for us? Mm. You, Sadi. Which nasheed are you gonna sing for us? Juma. 
Um, is, um, tell us about this nation. What's it about? I'm going to Juma on Friday. Are you going to Juma on Friday? But I just about heard that you're going to Juma on Friday. You have to speak like you have to speak like a man. No. I'm going to Juma on Friday. No. Yeah. No, so then I can hear you. Okay. Now I'm gonna. I would like to listen to you, Nasheed, but I just want you to put the volume up just a bit. You know, turn the volume up. Is that okay? So are you gonna turn the volume up? Yeah. Okay. Let's listen to you, Nasheed. 5 a.m. making up for Fajr. Got to make wudu, got to pray my sunnah. Got to make ghusl, got to clip my nails. Looking outside, the sun is rising. Up in the sky, everybody's rushing. Got to get down to the masjid. Got to say salam to the imam. Sitting in the first stuff, chilling in the back stuff. Got to make my mind up, do what the prophet did. It's Juma, Juma, got to make the Quran Juma. Everybody's looking forward to his mercy, mercy. Juma, Juma, gotta make the Quran Juma. Everybody's looking forward to the Ajum, uh, Miss Wakim, Miss Wakim, yeah, Miss Wakim, Miss Wakim, woo. Pray, 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 gotta read Surah Aka. 12.45, the Imams are men, but I about some life because Zakat. They're whispering, chanting from Quran, don't they know that it's hard up? I stand up, you stand up. Praise about to start, call the common to Salah. Foot to foot, shoulder, shoulder, just don't step on me. Sitting in the first self, chilling in the back self. Got him in my mind up, do what the prophet did. It's Juma. No, I said it wrong. It's all right, continue from where you remember it. Mm -hmm. Sitting in the first self, chilling in the back self. Got him in my mind up, do what the prophet did. It's Juma, Juma. Got him in the con Juma. Everybody's looking forward to his mercy, mercy. Juma, Juma, gotta make the conjuma. Everybody's looking forward to the adjun, uh, Miss Wakin, Miss Wakin, yeah, Miss Wakin, Miss Wakin, woo. Pray, 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 gotta read Surah Aka. It's Juma, Juma, gotta make the conjuma. Everybody's looking forward to his mercy, mercy. Juma, Juma, gotta make the conjuma. Everybody's looking forward to his mercy. Mashallah, Jazakallah. And who sings this nasheed? Or did you write it yourself? No, Raif. Raif? Mashallah. And has Raif done any other nasheeds? Which other nasheeds has he done? I forgot what it's called. But it's How does it go? No, it's by Bahi saying, but he just said it. How does it go? I forgot. All right. Okay. Mashallah. Um, today's show is about um, parents yeah and we've discussed so many things we discussed about mom and how we should behave with mom how we should treat mom importance of mom and we mentioned also dad um Tuske, can you tell us any, anything more um like um, we should always respect our parents no matter how old they are or how young they are um what they look like isn't what matters. What their characteristics like are more important. Um, when we were younger, every time they, whenever we used to cry, they used to get us and hold us up. They used to try to cheer us up. They fed us. They clothed us. They did so many things for us. So when now we now we're older, we should try and understand that we should try and respect them more. Try to um, help them with things and yeah. Very good. You know, sometimes um, we do things which are wrong to our parents and they get angry with us. Yeah. But sometimes our parents should also understand that we're going to make mistakes, isn't it? Yeah. Like sometimes when I'm running around in my house, up and down, downstairs, and I do something, my mom gets angry with me. And you know, I'm just a little boy. I'm going to do those things. Isn't that right, Labib? You and me, we're just little boys, aren't we? I'm slightly bigger, but you know, we're still little boys, yeah? No. <laughs> No? Yeah, what do you mean? Look how small I am. Yeah, I <laughs> Is the camera making me look big? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so should parents understand that children are going to be naughty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So should parents get angry, Labib? No. No? no? What do you think? How do you think parents should behave if we're naughty? Mm -hmm. Sadia? Sadia is never naughty, you see, so she doesn't know. Sadia, is that true? <laughs> no? All right, then. Um, thingy. Um, Tuskia, so what, do you, what advice would you give to parents? 
Um, what advice would you give to your mom and dad? Because um, you're a very naughty girl, that's what they told me. Um, say I'm running around, um, I accidentally make a mess in the house. Yeah. They should, they can shout at me, yeah, and that's okay, but they shouldn't get that angry that they do things that are like, like you, they um, hurt you or anything like that. All they should say is just, um, they should shout at you, they, 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 they can gently scold you, and then they should try mm. to tell you to do um, make up for what you did, mm. and they should say it politely, mm. not very angry. See, now, now the kids from Rainbow, no parents are going to send their children Rainbow Kids, and I say, now all of these people, they're telling, the kids are telling us how we should behave with them. But I think it's very important that, you know, we, we hear from our young people how we should behave from them, because sometimes we do things which are maybe not right, maybe not according to the Sunnah, and sometimes we are teachers and they're following us, but other times they're teachers and they're telling us what to do and we should follow them. Yeah? Okay? And Labib, if you're a naughty boy, what advice would you give to parents how they should behave with you? Mm. If you're on holiday and you're bored and you do something silly, how do you think mom and dad should behave with you? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? No. So what if mom and dad are shouting at you? And what advice would you give, the, give to them? Would Don't you say, shout. be gentle with Labib, give him ice cream? Or would you say, no, tell him off more? Don't shout at me, I don't like it. That's it, yeah? Don't shout at me, I don't like it. Labib, mom and dad, don't shout at him, he don't like it. Yeah? <laughs> but we should say in a nice way, isn't it? Yeah? Try to explain to them that it's not always good just shouting. So say, boy, boy, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> it's not always the nice way. We could say, you know, what we do it. Yeah, and, and how did our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam behave? Was he like that, shouting no. at people? No. No? Do, do anyone know how Prophet behaved, no. Sadia? He just explained to them. Yeah, and did he loud voice? No. Or was he soft voice? Soft. Yeah, and did he hit anyone? No. No, no? he never did, did he? He never said, oh, you, 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 my shoe, me, continue, come here. <laughs> did he ever do that? No. So there's a way that we should behave, isn't it? We should be kind. We should speak clearly, we should speak gently, yeah? If there's no reason to shout, we shouldn't shout, yeah? So very, very good. Um, we, 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 we've had one nasheed, right? Um, Labib, you have recited some Qur'an for us, but you told us you're not going to sing a nasheed for us, are you? You sure? There's so many people, they're saying, that boy Labib, the brother of Habib, he knows a good nasheed. Can you sing a nasheed for us? No. Come on. No, no, How about we all sing one nasheed together? No. Ta -la -al no? no? Come on, guys. No. I'm trying to be funny here. Come no. on. No? All right, then. Tazke, you run the show. What should we do? What should we talk about now? Um, I can say some Quranic verses. Yeah, let's listen to some Quranic verses. But, for, but for maybe a nasheed from Libby? No. No, it's not going to happen? No. No? No. Are you, I'm going to tell people. Post YouTube video saying, Labib, sing a song for us. No? no? no. Alright then, let's listen to some uh, verses of the Quran then. And we have enjoined and we have enjoined upon man care for his parents. His mother carried him, increasing her weakness upon weakness, and his and his weaning is in two years. Be grateful to me and, and to your parents. To me is the final destination. MashaAllah, that is very beautiful. And do you know what 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 ayah that, what surah that's from? Uh, Surah Luqman. Surah Luqman, mashallah. Gonna, I've, we've got a caller now. Let's take this caller. But a very beautiful ayat that you recited there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I really hope it's not my mum phoning me up and saying, Why are you telling these people to say these things? <laughs> Hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, salam. Mashallah. And can I ask who's calling? Tasia. Oh, mashallah, and where are you f calling from? Have you got his television on? Put your television volume down. Yeah, where are you calling from? Are you calling from London? From Europe? From the moon? Could, could I speak to Sadia? You want to speak to Sadia? Yeah? Yes. Okay, Sadia, do you want to speak? You've got to speak big, loud voice. Gorilla voice. Hello, Tahmina. She can't hear you. Hello. How are you? 
It's me, Sadia. Yeah, How are you? Is that Cosby? Are you enjoying the show? Speak. How are you? I'm very well. So you can't speak. I can't speak for you. Sadie has been very shy. She's been very shy, but she wants to know, are you enjoying the show? Sure. No? No, I think we've, we've, something's gone wrong there. I don't know. I, it, it's, it's either me or there's something wrong in the studio here. But um, is it, do you know who, who called? Yeah, what's, what's, is it Taslima her name is? Taslia. Tahmina. Tahmina, and how is Tahmina related to you? She's in Mafara. Oh, she's, she's in the same maktab as you, yeah? MashaAllah, and she's very happy to see you. Saying that that girl, Sadia, got a big voice in madrasa and little voice in studio. Let's go to the next caller. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum as salam. can I ask who's calling? Hamida. Hamida and Hamida, where are you calling from? London. From London and Hamida, what are you going to do, say or sing on the show? Um, Anashid, uh, I remember coming to remember kids. MashaAllah, you see? Not just do we have talented people on the show, but the talented people also from back. Hamida, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah. MashaAllah, how are you enjoying the show? Yeah, uh, my cousin saw you somewhere, I don't know where. Oh, your cousin saw me. All right, which nasheed are you going to sing? Um, who should I give my love to? Fantastic, that's a really good nasheed. Let's listen to that nasheed. Okay. Who should I give my love to, my respect and my honor to? Who should I bear good mind to? After Allah and Rasulullah comes your mother. Who next? Your mother. Who next? Your mother. And then your father. Because who used to. Um, wait, sorry. Because he used to feed you and always be with you. When you were sick, stayed up all night holding you tight. That's right, no other. You're my mother. Who shall take good care of giving all my love? Who shall think more stuff after a while? I was so Comes your mother, who next your mother, who next your mother, and then your father. <coughs> Cause who used to hear you before you could talk, who used to hold you before you could walk, when, when, when you fell, who picked you up, clean your car, no one but your mother. Jazakallah khair. Hamida, Jazakallah khair. Wonderful there, mashallah. We really need to get you back on the show there. And that nasheed, we've come to the end of our show now. And that nasheed you sang, wonderful, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah? So many things that our, especially our mum, our dad does so many things for us, but especially our mum, so many things they do for us. And it's very important that we show our love to, our kindness to, our respect to whom? Our mum and dad. And just that beautiful ayah, that um, um, Tazkiyah translated for us that for, what was the last bit? Show thanks to your parents and show thanks to me, Allah is saying, isn't it? And why? Because our, mo our mother, where we were inside our mother's stomach, our mother's womb, and all that time she was carrying us. If you're a big boy like me, it's difficult, you know? Yeah? So, so much our parents have done for us. And there's a lot of respect that we should show to our parents, not just when we're young, that we should listen to them, but also when we grow up. If you're a big boy like me, even when you're a big boy, you have to show respect to your parents. At the same time, we always tell our parents out there, mum and dad, guardians, older brothers, sisters, whoever's watching the show, our young people are wonderful. And they have so many things that, that they can teach us. So let's listen and let's learn from them and let's try to understand them better. Um, guys, it's come to that part of the show when some of our younger people are going to go to sleep. What is the dua for sleeping? Allahumma bi ismika amutu wa ahiyya. Allahumma bi ismika amutu wa ahiyya. If you're going to sleep. And if you're going to be up, then we hope you continue watching Channel S, information, entertainment, fun and learning. Until next time, from us and everyone in the studio, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.